Sergei Ramadanov, who was born in 1873, was once described by his fellow composer Stravinsky as a six and a half foot scowl. As he towered over his colleagues, he always did seem a bit grumpy. And the composer's music does have a brooding, gloomy quality. It's deeply romantic and very Russian. As a young man, though, Ratmaninoff was first and foremost a pianist, today still regarded as the greatest pianist of the recording age. But the young man was also obsessed with composing, and once he graduated from the Moscow Conservatoire, with honours, of course, he set about producing works of startling melodic and harmonic richness. But his path to composing greatness wasn't so smooth, thanks to the disastrous premiere of his first symphony, given a terrible performance under a drunk conductor and a critical mauling. It took Ratmaninoff three years to get over the disappointment, not to mention the depression he sunk into. During those three years, he composed almost nothing, but several hypnotherapy sessions later, his confidence was restored. And in 1901, he set to work almost immediately on the magnificent second piano concerto, the work which single-handedly made his name, and it's still his most famous. Like most of his piano works, the concerto makes massive demands on the soloist. Ratmaninoff's hands were the largest of any concert pianist living then and since, which meant he could play enormous chords and whirlwind passages that would be completely beyond most other pianists. But it's those huge chords that give Ratmaninoff's music its big, full-blooded opulence. Only a few years after the premiere of the second piano concerto, Russia was beginning to show signs of social breakdown and Ratmaninoff spent more and more time away, touring in Europe and America, until the 1917 revolution persuaded him to leave Russia for good. He settled in the United States, where he wrote, among other works, his third piano concerto, the Rhapsody on a the Theme of Paganini, and the Symphonic Dances. And if all these works have a stronger Russian flavour than much of his previous work, that's no coincidence. Ratmaninoff missed Russia desperately. Even his house in Beverly Hills was an exact replica of his Moscow home. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and subscribe for more. Find more classical content at colsonhall.org classical.